the way I feel. I is can't. Every time they drop a piece of God. anything, I feel like the void is growing. Mira, what the fuck <laughs> is your st <laughs> fuck? God, every time, every time you click on this boy. <laughs> Oh shit! Like, and, and it sucks without because without fail, because like you want to keep going with his story, but then there's like all these other stories that you're like, yeah, but what if what's it, happening? Like, what happened with every her? Every single chapter ends on a complete <laughs> plot recontextualization, and I don't know how many of these I got. I, I maybe there's other ones buried in here, and there's other bombs, but. It feels like his shit is so insane. Yeah. It's so insane. Oh my god, man. Right now, Kitaro Miura and Natsuno Minami are the two lines that interest me the most. Well, we're the furthest into them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense. But like, but for comparison, everybody is like 14% Like or Takamiya's less. first chapter wasn't a whole lot. But also now she's future mom. So fucking eat that. Watch out for the safe. I uh, remember. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh my god. <laughs> like Well, we gotta keep going then to no more. That's the only thing we can Christ almighty. Hey, this is a good book. I wanna know more about this story. <sighs> Um, yeah. Okay. So, Sukeban is mommy. <laughs> mommy Sukeban. Sukebachan. Sukebachan. Oh my god. Um, okay. Alright, alright. Uh, 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 alright, just. Okay, Yuki Tamiya 2188. Professor Yuki Takamiya. In 2188 world is Natsuno Minami's mother. She uses her maiden name, Takamiya, as she's already divorced her husband. She feels bad that her daughter, Minami, had to go through the divorce. So... Alternate yeah. ass reality. So... Alternate yeah. ass... Like, complete alternate ass reality. Or, like, they're not real people. <laughs> or... Time travel with reprogramming. Time travel with reprogramming, yes. The, 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 sorry, that last thing I said makes zero sense because BJ just confirmed that it's the start of his timeline. It's the start of Mirror's timeline. So, like, just alternate ass reality. But here's the problem with that. He still got that information on his log. Yep. So the Mura standing there, those, like, that future Mura shit was not like we could have just accepted that in a weird bubble floating out in the world way over there disconnected from everything we know except for the slightest like reimaginations of whatever concepts you know that is your dmc devil may cry Sta floating over there next to the D the devil may cry that we know mm. you know or whatever your reimagined franchise is so to speak but no because the timeline says that he has that at the origin of his log so yeah. it's not just a fucking crazy ass that like it's a real non-connected thing. But <sighs> does it imply then like does someone maybe Mura like jump realities in you know what I mean? Like not just time, but realities. Mm. She blushed. Yeah. She blushed. Well, I guess we'll know later. And also, does that mean that the husband was called Minami? The husband was not uh, named, but it said that she divorced him and took her yeah. maiden name back. So, not to know. Minami. Minami. Yes. Correct. Minami would come from the father in that okay. circumstance. All right. True. BJ, 
uh, small mysterious robot that Natsu Minami finds requests Minami's cooperation in finding the memory cell one of the robotic drones manufactured by Shikishima Industries they were manufactured for surveying unde undeveloped lands and repairing machinery so scout robots yep confirm her deconfirm her bullshit uh, 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 fan fiction Wow, wow, wow. Man. Tetsuya Ida's office. Tetsuya Ida uh, was the, 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 the director of Four the eyes. SIU. Of SIU, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um. Mm hmm. If this is a 31%, there's not a whole lot of bad link to this game. Yeah, we're one third through already. There can't be a ton of these. Maybe... I guess two areas? Girl with the red glasses. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm just, it's just, it's going to be old hat at this point, but fuck, man. This place is a dump. Yeah. What a dump. <laughs> hey, see. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Hell yeah. Me and Nacho hey. used to drink it all the time when we were kids. Um, hey. Isn't that Tamao? Yeah. There you are. Oh my god, what? I've been looking for you. <sighs> In 85. Don't you have anything better to do? Young. Takamiya san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson. Erica Aiba, at your service. No, I guess not. <gasps> Mm, never mind. Okay. Please call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? Is it because she's dressed like that old TV show character that was a Sukeban that would solve mysteries? I think that's what they're going for. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. <laughs> oh, wow. She's. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Freaking weirdo. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. Mm -hmm. So they're making weapons too? Nachan, my childhood friend. Mm. We went our separate ways in middle yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. But we still kept writing to each other. Mm -hmm. She's the only person I really care about. Mm -hmm. Like... Like, is it a weird thing where, like, she cares about her but doesn't know why, so that it kind of just goes the other way and confuses her? That could be, a you thing. know, like, like you don't know why, but I know, I know, I, I you matter to me, I but care. I don't know why you matter to me. Yeah. And right now we're strangers, so uh, back to the future. Yeah. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. Who, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> wait, wait. Like, you just rolled up onto the story. What up? And you're here now, and you're talking to me as if, like, I'm supposed to just be like, all right, you're the Holmes. So you're the Watson to the Holmes. You're the, you're the fucking, like, what? 
you met her while you're trying to find out more. She just follows you around, and now she's your yeah. subordinate. Yeah. All right. It seems likely she was involved in random much more lackey. Sinister. And Minami was found where? She says she's where right now. She's she isn't sick. She didn't run away. She's disappeared from the timeline right now. Bam, yeah. She so hasn't found her way Erika back. doesn't know anymore. She's stuck in 1945 right now, mm -hmm. as she should. <laughs> Excuse me. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Like you, the color sw going to for, for switching up to for the cool. Blah, switching over to cool colors is also a really uh, dramatic effect. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective huh. too. Just like you were saying. Yeah, and you also just happen to look identical to someone else in the story for some reason. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Want to see what she looks like? Does she get an entry right away? So, Kurabe is in the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, hamburger is important. Remember that. Like, this is so weird because he ends up with, like, there's his real origin, and then he has two families. You know, that he ends up staying with. So it's just this, like, it just gets more and more crazy. Um, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And can you go to Tamao Kurabe 1945, about, like, ten entries below? Right? Same head, right? Same fucking head. Même dude. tranche. See, same thing. All right. Like, I don't know who they think they're fooling. But she doesn't have an entry yet. Oh, there's a bunch of blue stuff on Kitaro Miura, but yeah, yeah. Okay, this yeah well, that's what we, yeah, just, we went, just watched. Okay. We just went through. Yeah. So, uh huh. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. So is it professor assisting professor? Or are you just... Did they, did, did they send you to fucking be her lackey mm -hmm. from the what SIU? What should we look into first? I mean, she is the foremost expert on AI, right? Well, at least the girl that looks exactly like her. This is Amiguchi's. He got a 92? <laughs> Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. Pretty, you say? And then again, he did ball Shoot? this up and leave it on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yep, still an idiot. Rich and smart? Yo! What? Yo, what? I don't know, man. I think she was like, oh. Hmm. Mm. Maybe there's something behind that uh, demeanor that, that, you know? Yeah, there is. It's called toxic waste. <laughs> you know, you're, you're sad that Grimes went with Elon? I'm saying slime <laughs> is slime. <laughs> Is slime is slime. <laughs> but Elon, though. I want to like Shu Amiguchi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I give him as much benefit of the doubt as I possibly can. <laughs> With that in mind, his fucking battle quote is... Oh, I can't yeah. wait to impress that shit. <laughs> You're in battle, you fucking skis. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I want to. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's He would otherwise be an interesting little comic relief type. Fucking skis bag. It's enough. No. All right. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. 
He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Just do the cool thing and do the sacrificial die already. Where you're like, hey, I'll be a skis bag to the end, but I'll die for you so that you gotta take me seriously. <laughs> you know. What should we look into first? Someone's drying their handkerchief. Wonder which girl this belongs to. Birds! Ah. And they were beautiful. They were. A little, if not a little blurry. It's art. Going down. Why is this refreshed? That's because it's because I got to use it on somebody. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. it's red, right? Red. That's what the red means. That's the link. Yes, yes, yes. Natsunomi Nami still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her before she started taking days off? I mean. Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? Natsu no mi nami. Natsu no mi nami. Uh, any other link? Track and fields? No? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? <sighs> was there something else? Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... it was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. <laughs> wow. That's harsh. Was there something else? Hey! I mean, she's... the most quiet of mm. the bunch. We don't know her well. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything she else She hangs in the back. About Natsunomi Nami. But she fights well. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. The notebook? Like, in a world with talking cats, I don't trust this girl next to me. I don't trust her being dropped in from Plot World to follow me all of a sudden. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Imagine being betrayed by the person who showed up in between scenes <laughs> and suddenly was attached to you. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? That damn four. He says there's some spot they may not put there, honestly. You gonna link it to someone? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. <laughs> okay. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're the one next to her in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi Kisaragi, I think? So, uh... Yeah, what yes? about the girl with the red glasses? to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. Interp 
viewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Okay. Can't talk to Sami. Okay. What else does Yuri have to say? Oh, she's, she's red. red. So is Megumi. What about uh? What? Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof. Oh. I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Oh. I mean, we saw it, but we didn't take it. There. Yeah, she did say that she used to go there often. You stay here. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year. And captain of the track team. That's right. All right, chill. Hey, she's been fucking prissy every single time she showed up. For a reason. She's never been chill. Yo, you're gonna hate on Jordan? Wola. <laughs> Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsunomi Nami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so too. Mm -hmm. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. Oh. What incident? Have you ever had anyone in your school be the manager for your sports teams? Because that's a thing that I also have only seen in anime and video games from Japan. Not in my school, no. Yeah, like Western high schools don't have this manager position. I don't think they But cool. they absolutely exist in anime yeah. and, and like in high yeah is, there's i really assume there must be a basis in real life of course but it's like if you want to be like um a like sports adjacent like bureaucrat yeah. of some kind like there's a position that you can take up from the high school level and uh i'm just thinking of like like in in fucking eye shield it exists and in a bunch of sports anime it, it exists but even here i'm just like yeah that's a thing that we just don't have at all there's, there's the gym teacher that's usually the coach, and then there's the team, you know? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... A fire in the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. God, you're useless. Are you a human being? Wow, that was a lot. You on the track team? Yes. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school? Well, depends what you define as strange, but... 
Natsuno did stop coming to training, but it's still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO looking thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Worst kept secret yeah. in the fucking school. Everybody knows. Worst about Minami's box. Phrasing. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Mm. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. What? Relax. I am certain. What's got it into you? Their intentions were not pure. <laughs> okay. I hate you. <laughs> I really, really hate you. What the fuck? I don't want you near me for the rest of this game. Bye. Wow. Me. That room is for authorized personnel only. It's just a damn locker room. For real. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Let's take care of her. No That's right. I gotta ask for her help. Suke on her ass. Shikatakanai. There's no other way. Yo, Aiba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay, go over there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you ever <laughs> accidentally <laughs> make friends with a LARPer? <laughs> Wait for me out here when you're done. That just won't <laughs> stop LARPing? Like... Well, you know. You know what Shakespeare said, the stage is... The world is a stage, right? No. No. No, the stage is the stage. <laughs> And when you're off the stage, you're in the re you're it's fine. Thank you. But live action never stops, Wooly. Yeah, that's the problem. It never stops. So yeah, you have met these people. <laughs> it's not a great time. It really is. I told you about Inuyasha girl from fucking college who came in dressed as Inuyasha on a regular basis and would try to fall over on the ground for real and, and do sweat drops in real life. It was not a good time. Oh, please. It's it's fucking rough. You and did, and you and didn't enjoy what you had. That's a problem. Listen, at least like all I can say is fucking awful Iba over here at the very least might look back one day in like 2 years and go, "Oh man, cringe." At the way I behaved in high school because everyone's like, "Oh, remember that girl who wouldn't stop larping?" <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, right? But maybe Maybe there, there's a there's some looking back on that and seeing what it is, but at the very least, uh, uh, by the situation I'm describing was in the situation where you should have been looking back. It was in college already. It's too late. <laughs> Can't go back. Oh yeah. Like, no one has any problem with anybody that's like. You know, a geek playing D and D or any of that stuff in school. I was playing D and D with my friends. It was cool. We were all playing Pokemon and doing whatever. But like, when you're doing it all day, every day, nonstop, <laughs> and you're you talking stop, that yeah. way, and you're on the fucking RP server, but you're in real life, and no one else is RPing with you. Dear God, man! Please get back onto our plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 
Hey! Let's fucking go! <gasps> your body. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. <sighs> mm hmm. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. Easy. Dude, remember that time I was describing the Sherlock Holmes game where Watson doesn't walk, he just teleports wherever you are like Slenderman? Whoa, what? It's a game that's so shitty and cheap, they had no money to make Watson actually walk next to you, so he would just be standing, and when you looked away and looked back, he'd teleport to walk wherever you are. So he's standing here, you walk up the stairs, and if you're not looking at him in camera, you look behind you, and he's right there. It's the most horrifying mechanic ever, and it ends up yeah. making the game super scary and creepy. <laughs> you turn around, and you're basically Dwight and going, you, you're, what the fuck? You do a 360, and then he's in a different place. <laughs> and But he never moves when you're looking at him. Mm -hmm. This is who we have on our team. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. Three records, okay. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being. Oh god, my daughter's a nerd. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> Whoa. Aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachon make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? Just slams it back in the locker. Okay, oh, we're, we're done shit. here. <laughs> Going home. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Just... <ugh. laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> How did you not catch any of this when you were during your pen pal days? An actual gateway to time travel. Right in Tokisaka Shrine. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. Mm -hmm. Record three. Like, why would you phrase it that way? <laughs> it's completely worthless extra words. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? My brain. You just gonna stand there? Hey. Oh, God. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. Then wait inside. Ooh, uh oh. Mm. Who do you have to link it to? Do you have to... Man in black. Okay, you have to go straight to him? Well, okay. he's supposed to be on my team. True. I'm Takamiya, with the SIU. 
I assume you've heard about me. So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Ignore you? Hey. Don't talk to me. Hey. Don't talk to me. Hey. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Better talk to him right away, or not. Getting all nervous. Uh, you're still red, but yeah, I wonder what's going on with Ogata actually. Can I help you? No. She was one of them. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Mm-hmm. Yuri. You know, the one next to her in the perch who told me keep on going yeah oh that's uh, great I don't think there's that's... anything else to it is have a minute I got some things to ask you mm-hmm oh yeah that fire in the north building know anything about that I heard a teacher talking about it oh let's go they said it was caused by a delinquent smoking cigarettes. That's you. It wasn't you. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, kind. I laid off the cigs after I transferred here. Which means I'm not getting my nicotine fix. You're the only smoker we know. Which means you better watch yourself. A delinquent smoking cigarettes. There's only one of those lame asses here. Nenji Ogata. Bang. We haven't seen that, but I mean, he is the only other delinquent. So she's going to accuse him and he's going to lose his shit. Huh? This girl. She's a name on the lip. Her name. She's pretty dull. Do we have anything else to. Have a reputation as a tough okay, guy. that's good. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. All right. Gonna have a battle. It's the only place to do it. <gasps> you smoking? Oh, Gata. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> okay. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Oh. <laughs> Not me. Never. You're that tone, though. Are you trying to... Oh. I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. Mm-hmm. You trying to accuse me of something? That's right. First of all, I don't smoke. Bam. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. Bam. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Huh. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. So about not... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, you know she's nice call missing. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. So this is Ogata's handkerchief. Why would he put a handkerchief there? Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. Almost everybody is. Seriously! That... <laughs> that's... Hey! Yo, Ogata! Right, right there with you. Right there with you, buddy. It's... I feel your feelings yeah. deeply, bruh. Yeah, don't worry. The agent on Nachan's case. Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean... She is pretty messed up, too. <sighs> Have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. All right, dude. Not yet. Oh, there's no link to do with her, or is the link the, the link to go is to go to the bathroom? I see. I think it may be ill-advised to associate with hoodlums. I think it may be ill-advised to associate with hoodlums. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the north building. All right. Certainly. Fire in the girl's bathroom, huh? Someone oh, died. Someone traveled. Someone warped. Yeah, for sure. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking. Janitor? There's no way all this was from a Exactly fire. what I was going to say. Look at that ceiling. What the fuck? I hear girl's bathrooms are super gross. I heard the same. But wow. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Jesus, ladies. What the fuck is this going on? It seems more like a bear went on a rampage. Like I feel like in our heads it was all like nice and extra clean. Cause just dudes are gross. What are we gonna go fucking hit the urinal up and just everyone's just gonna stand and fart? You know, funny enough. And everyone's enough. gonna miss. Every time I've heard a weird story about a bathroom stall covered like wall to wall with shit, it was either homeless people or drunk girls. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like, yeah. 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 And, and not a single event. Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> anyway, I guess we can move on to the next. I just, yeah, I'm just part. like, like, you know, you grow, you grow up and you're like, okay, the, the mysterious girls' bathroom, girls are all. You know, puppies and flowers, so <laughs> that must be the well, cleanest, great, yeah. most immaculate thing ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you just end up hearing otherwise, <laughs> you know? We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. Like, what, what is, is on the... With you? That, I mean, that is the it million dollar question. Like actual detectives now. But, like, what is on the ground... These scratch marks. Scratch? They're carved pretty deep in there. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. So yeah, her chapters are detective work then. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? 
Bunny. Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Uh -huh. Sammy. Now that I think about it. Yeah. yeah. I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Oh, I got the name wrong. No, it's the nickname Usami. Okay. Yeah. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the class one hallway just now. I gotta find her. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! Wait, wait for me. me! Of course. Good. Good. I'm, I appreciate that the game knows. She was somewhere around here before. Not here either. She's so bright. Hey. Yeah. Literally yeah. in a different lighting world from Iori. No. Yep. Look at the thigh difference. Uh. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's there. I am just I'm not you no preference, no I'm, just comment. I'm just making I'm, ju I'm just objectively stating that the, the, the art between, the thighs are different. The thighs are very different between Iori and Tomi right mm -hmm. now. And it's it's quite distinct. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you went to the girls' bathroom in the north building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the north building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? Objection. Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I have mine right I'm here. Mine right, now. right, so what's the so point? Obviously, they can't be mine. Hmm. Cornered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Phoenix Wright animation. <laughs> All right, listen up. Whoops. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Yeah? I saw her. The day of the incident. Wait, that's not a Yuri, oh, that's Miwako. Oh, well. Usami chan was in the North Building. But, uh, Miwako, what the hell? Uh, but I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno chan there too. Wait, what? Oh, what? Salatari statement. I feel bad for making them wait for me. Oh. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. <sighs> oh, Natsuno chan, Miwako. Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the. <sighs> Sorry, Miwako. What was that about? Oh, it's Will Smith. Hmm? No, it's not. Legs. What happened to your leg? Did you hurt yourself? Mm. She ignored me? That's not like Usami chan. Your body snatchers? Hmm. Damn. Oh, I've never even seen that place. Seriously, Miwako? What 
what's going on. Yuri-chan! So, I was saying... But that can't be right. No, it's true. I really did see them. That's possible. That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time. At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right. I mean, I'd, I'd much... I'll take, like, fucking... Stealth cover... Uh, Shape-shifting... As opposed to the alternate... Version of um, Usami shows up. And now they're having... Death battles. So two Tomi Kisaragis. What the hell's going on? It's totally good. It's gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be the... Nachan, I mean, how did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl, but she was covered in dust. It was really weird. Hmm. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. So two Tomi Kisaragis. And... A girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. To be continued. The question many have asked themselves <laughs> upon opening a door. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, well. Finally. Okay. So, now we're up to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so two more to go. Um, that background is pretty fucking wild, mm. too, all things considered. And, um, we do know that that's 2024. Yes. We know that much. And that is, in fact, the start of her timeline. Mm-hmm. So... Stuff and things. And things and stuff. Yeah. Boy. All right. Watch your save. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I'm not gonna lie, dude. I am... I am afraid to click on Mura's like story <laughs> it's, I'm, it's too much i'm terrified it's too much every time we're at 50 percent on him we might need to sit there for a second go elsewhere just to breathe yeah just to breathe because that was like way slower paced when we did uh, uh we, like you know we just did a way more like meander talk to people put together the detective yeah. investigations and, you know, like, we might need to just build things up a little bit because Mura is beelining us for whatever the fuck this game and is. And we're like, whoa, 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 that's too, whoa, that's too much. Too much. Hey. Ease, ease up on the gas there. It's all right. We'll get there, Uber driver. You don't got to fucking floor it. We don't want to die. All right. 